From pieces to peace. May we all have the courage to heal. May we all have the courage to deal with the past and leave it there in the past. May we learn to live in the here and now. Forgiveness, our gift of giving ourselves what we deserve. A full life, a fulfilled life, a peaceful life. From pieces to peace. Amen. So from pieces to peace is my journey of taking all the pieces of my life, the shattered pieces of my life, and creating peace. This is my journey of poetry. This is my narrative, my autobiography through poetry. And this is what I bring to you, the pieces that I've collected and turned into something whole. Children that uh, suffer from incest, that are victims of this horrible, terrible thing. <laughs> I don't even have words for it. I can't even look at little girls and I think, how could that be? The way to survive is to get out of your body. You disassociate, you just move out. And I know that hurt people hurt people. I have no doubt that my father was hurt and that's why he hurt me. And thank God I've been given the tools to, to, to heal my hurt. And therefore, I don't have to hurt anybody else. And uh, that's the gift that I've been given to break this karmic uh, um, pattern in our family. It goes back for generations, I'm sure. It's taken me 57 years, maybe a little bit less. I guess I was in my body for the first few years, but my first memory is from age three. And, uh, at the beginning it wasn't easy, I didn't know how to live in my own body and I had all these emotions that I wasn't used to and the two big emotions that, that rule our world, fear and love. I've chosen love. No matter what happened to you, no matter what anybody's done to you, love yourself. And when I look in the mirror today, I see that it's possible to heal. I've healed, I'm happy, I'm joyful, I'm creative. And this is the hope that I can give others. I know where I was. I know who I was before. A woman who hated herself, who just wanted to hide under her bed, who was crying all day long, who was in depression. Um, I just hated my life and I was blaming everybody else for it. And the moment I took the reins into my own hands, and decided that I can change my life. I can't change my father, I can't change my mother, I can't change what's happened to me, but I can change from this moment on, I can change my future. And that's the hope that I can give to other women.